I got a new segment for y'all. This one is called Rabbit's Adventures on Instagram. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna call it. That's a long one. And I heard most people can't read over a third grade level. So I might dumb it down a little bit, but let's get into it. Damn, Rabbit's gonna be right here, guys. We're gonna take it nice and slow. Let's do it. Hard to speak to me. But you speak it to him. King and you <clears throat> when Lil Wayne was hitting on I mean, Nikki, when her boyfriend was right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, Nicki Minaj kind of looks like a freaking. What's those little birds called? They're not. They kind of look like penguins and a, a cross between a toucan and a penguin. What the? Wayne, let's bring it back. Focus. Oh my god. I used to watch so much Nat Geo Wild. I know this animal. It has a little colorful beak. It's like orange and yellow. What is he saying? A puffin. So she looks like a puffin. She got a puffin face. Look at her her nose, like a beak. <laughs> How many of y'all would hit that? Cause I'm not really. I don't know. She's not hideous. Her body is a little strange, but like her personality is what's really gonna put me off. So that's not I ain't doing a broken it. airplane window. And what you see broken in that video is actually going to be this plastic covering, which is known as the window reveal. I'm an aircraft mechanic, and this is an airplane fact with Max. And these window reveals are actually just attached to the cabin sidewall panel. The actual airplane windows are going to look something like this. And they're mounted to the aircraft's fuselage like this one is. However, airplane windows are quite a bit different than the window on the West Chapter in The Lord of the Rings, where we see Frodo be questioned by Faramir after he and the Rangers of Athelion successfully waylaid a company of the Haradrim as they were marching towards the Black Gate to bolster Sauron's forces. And then what? Asking Frodo about Nerd. The nature of the yeah. that he Nerd. With his brother Boromir before revealing to Frodo that Boromir had actually fallen at the point of the <laughs> yeah. Are we watching an airplane? Not take the ring even if he found it lying on the side of the road and eventually allowing Frodo, Sam, and Gollum to depart freely for them to continue their quest into the... Yo, yeah, what's wrong with this kid? ...was there to descend into the very lands of Mordor itself. What? Airplane windows aren't... aren't <laughs> um, but yeah. I think the airplane windows are pretty cool. So, yep. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, son, touch grass. What's this? This is what pisses me off about society, folks. What is that? What are those? Is it meat? I swear to God, I bet it's not meat in there. I, I, I bet it's some... It's coconuts? What is this? And, and and then you just sit there and look and and, and what, like what? I don't like her makeup. I'm not saying that because I don't like the video. What's what? What'd she say? Close your mouth. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop watching this video. This isn't my locker. Uh, I'm 36. Okay. This isn't. Oh. Then why the freak would you get into Brenner? Because it was the only one open. So she's not British, huh? There's no point in that. Okay, it's. I already told you it's 45, 25, 41. She, yeah, she's cooked. No, it's over. Y'all literally. Go, go get somebody or something. I need to get out of the locker. Guys, it's literally, it's literally. I'm gonna show y'all what, what, what. Oh my God, guys! It's literally so hot in here. Please get me out. Hold on. Okay. Go get me. Does nobody want to let 
Oh, in the TikTok. Oh, I'm going to fit in my own locker. Look what I just did. The door shut. Oh, I'm gonna shut it on myself. The door shut and everything. Oh, yeah, we can. This isn't my locker. Um, it's 38. <laughs> I'm 36. <laughs> This isn't. Oh. <laughs> 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 Listen, y'all. Okay, it's. I already told you it's forty five. Watch it, Jock. Five forty one. Folks. In a, in two hundred years, they gonna find her in the locker like this. Y'all are literally. Go go get somebody or something. I need to get out of this locker. Guys, it's literally. You understand what I'm saying? That's how she coming. In, in, in 20, what year is it? 2034? That's how she coming in 2035. Dead. The door shut out. The door shut out. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Judgment. As soon as that door locked. And you hear that sound? Judgment. I'm 36. It just popped up on the screen. This isn't... Oh, I don't freak when you get into the brand Because it was the only one open. <laughs> open your own locker. No, there's no point in that. Okay, it's... I already told you. It's 45, 25, 41. Stuck his head into a particle accelerator. Yeah, I, I saw this before. Well, I heard about this before. So, all y'all ladies that want to stop the wrinkles and them crow's feet, stick your head into a particle accelerator. You'll stop aging. You might stop aliving. Probably. But you also might. What? Sperm donation. What? I don't, I don't, I don't like the, I'm all right for giving people my sperms. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I don't want a kid out there in the world that's like half me and he don't know me. You know, that's kind of weird to me. So I don't know about that. I guess it depends on how much they paying, huh? How much they want for some of this? I'm probably gonna start with the most traumatic, which my adopted dad, like that was the most traumatic. Woman says her and father that adopted her as a child says, confessed look, okay, so he's in love with her. When he came over, he came over to my apartment to tell me that that day. He like rang me up and he called me and he was like, he's like, hey, can I like come over and talk to you? And I was like, okay, sure. Had a gut feeling. Think that I'm crazy? Swear to God. Had a gut feeling. Get off the phone with him. I'm anticipating his arrival. I'm like peeping through the blinds. I'm just, I have this gut feeling. I'm sick to my stomach. Then I hear, uh, like I go sit down. Hear the car door slam. Go look out the window. See him walking up. I know what the fuck he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. And you're like, oh Lord, how'd you know what he was going to say? Because he did weird shit my entire life. And I gaslit myself into thinking that maybe it wasn't weird because I didn't have a dad. So I didn't know what that relationship was really like. What kind of weird stuff? I literally don't. <clears throat> okay, so I lived on the second story. He had to walk up two flights of stairs, knocked on my door. Oh, no, I'm interested I'm now. Sweating. Like my anxiety, like okay, it's so bad. Loose. I let him Watch in. Out, brother. He sit, he sits down on one couch. Well, he's pacing a little bit. Sits down on one couch. I'm sitting down on the other couch, and he's crying. And I, to think of, my adopted dad was born in the '60s. He was a country guy. He was like, you know how guys from the '60s are. How old dudes from the '60s are. So like, no, I, I don't. I, think I maybe saw him cry like once ever. So I thought that he was having a mental breakdown and he couldn't even speak. And I was like, say it. I was like, just say it, say what you're going to say. Like almost coursing it out of him because I was afraid that he wasn't going to say it. And I wanted to know what he was going to fucking say. I really should have recorded it, but so, <clears throat> okay. So I lived on the second story. He says, he says, Laura, I'm in love with you. 
look at me dead in the eyes with tears rolling down his fucking face. Knowing me, literally, I'm gonna have to show a picture of me whenever I was six years old, but I was like, he's known me since I was like as tall as my fucking knee. He's like, Laura, I'm in love with you. And I was like, oh, I love you too. Uh, and he's like, no, I mean, I'm in love, in love with you. Like, I would love to marry you. <gasps> I'm telling you, I'm freaking the fuck out in here. But it is also giving me clarification on everything that it ha has happened throughout my time knowing him since I was six years old. What? Wait, what kind of weird stuff, um, though? I blacked out after that. I fucking blacked the fuck out. You I blacked remember out? remember him asking me, because I lived like five or six blocks away from my childhood home that I grew up in. Fuck. Nah, she's, she's a victim, y'all. She, she's gonna... You blacked out? He says, Lord, remember him asking me to dinner. Imagine if he had pulled out a knife. Um, what y'all think would have happened? They were a horrible family, but one thing that they generally did was like Sunday dinners or whatever. Um, so he asked me for to dinner, and I'm sure I said like yeah or something like that. And then he walked out of my house, and I locked every fucking lock on that door. And I went into my fucking bedroom, and I locked that door, and I hid under my blankets, and I fucking sobbed my eyes out. I was like hyperventilating. I was like freaking out. I was in there for over an hour before I was able to like do anything else than that. And I texted my sister at the time I was married to a man but anyway I texted my ex-husband um and I was like you're not gonna believe this if you don't believe this I'm gonna fucking leave you because this is fucked up so I texted if you don't believe this I'm gonna leave you me to dinner because um it was the is this lady retarded they were a horrible family but one thing that they generally did was like sunday dinner and before i gave him a chance to even read it or respond i was like no fuck this i need to talk to somebody what kind of so weird stuff him, and i tell him every single fucking detail mind you my ex-husband was not a good man either um to this day i can't As stand what type of weird um, stuff bro but anyway he, i was on the phone with him and he was just like He's like, Laura, you must be confused. Like, imagine a man sticking up for another fucked up man. But he's like, Laura, you have to be confused. There's got to be some. And he knows my history with these people and my adopted dad. But he's literally like, no, you're confused. This There's woman no is saying I, absolutely I nothing. I call the most important person in my How world. How can you speak and say nothing? Sister. My um, head hurts. And I tell her and she's freaking the fuck out too. Because she has fucked up experiences. And before I gave him a chance to see I'm sorry, people, that was a waste of time. No. Nah, that was a waste of time. What kind of concert is this? <laughs> What's... <laughs> they snatched the mint of the dude in the green hoodie. What is happening in this though? Like, what is going on? Is this autism? Is this what autism looks like? No, I gotta get him. My boy got on the wall with me. Lord. <laughs> Those are unfortunate. Nah, that's crazy. No, I gotta get him. What kind of foot even goes into a thing like that? Like, how you even get shoes to do that? Bro. No, I gotta get him. I got a pair of forces, and they're not supposed to look like that. I didn't even know you could stretch him. I always thought when the, I, like, I'm Jamaican, so we have a thing where, like, they'll tell you, oh, yeah, yeah for, you'll stretch the shoe or something like that, when it's really just not your size, get your right size, right? They wasn't lying. You can stretch shoes. No, I gotta get him. 
My boy got on the walk with me, Lord. How though? Walk with me. He don't even care about it. No, it's like it. they're rubber or something. My like you pulled the back of them and just snapped them on the back of your heel. He don't even care about it. No, I gotta get him. My boy got on the walk with me. What kind of human is this? Like what? For, um, <laughs> um, you like? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um, he looked like the yo. Hold on, folks. Um, <laughs> she giving me these vibes. <laughs> um. What's wrong with this man? <laughs> mm. I'm looking for um. Uh... I'm looking for um. <laughs> Stop playing with him. Uh... He looks like the guy from. <laughs> the I'm for, um, um, He's all ears, folks. Um, My man, ready to listen to this. Look at him. Um, nah, that's good customer service right there. I wish McDonald's and Wendy's had these type of uh, employees. Because they don't listen. They don't. I'm looking and my burger is always smushed up. I don't know why. With the peppers. His pregnant wife. You need to tell me you've made it this far in the video and haven't been followed yet? It's completely free to you, but it means the world to me and helps me out a lot. Especially whenever I'm trying to keep you and your family entertained and fed with meal ideas to keep you out of the trap. You want to keep seeing me in your feed, you either got to follow or interact. One of the two. So that way I keep coming back. Oh yeah, thanks for 900k on Facebook and a million on TikTok. What is he making? A breakfast burrito. I don't like what he did just right there. He just mushed all of that up. I know it's gonna be mushed up anyway, but bro, I don't see this mush before. God. Is that the sun back there? That's the wife. Wait. Oh. I was about to say, what? Yo, what a world. And you know what's the sad part? I actually, for a second, believe that could have been the wife, too. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> Crazy one world game. we live in, man. Right, one more game. One more game. What the hell is this? Really? What are you doing? What? Bro, what do you mean what? I told you one more game. What? what? I told you one more game. Oh, we're gonna do that. One more game. 
more game because I'm going to stay up until fucking past 2 a.m. Get dressed up and go to bed. You too. Look at it. No. No. Stand up. Go to bed. You too. What the hell is this? Get up. Go. One more game. And then you're going to turn it on. What the hell is this? A phone number. This is the type of video that we talking about shouldn't be put out in the either. Or like, who the hell? Imagine you a grown ass man, and then someone that's not your parent telling you you gotta go to bed in an hour. Much less that's your girl. Imagine that chat, chat comment section, y'all, whoever. Who is this? It's not a what the I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say too much about this, but shout out to him and his vagina. You know what I mean? Shout out to him and his vulva. Yeah, I, that has to be a skit. Hi. I hope it is. One more game. Yeah, I haven't heard that shit since I was like 10 or something. Not here. What? We got one more game. Hey, man, hello. I'm so sorry. I'm just walking I, I out. Hi. Hi. Who are y'all? Uh, Wait. Wait. The situational awareness in this video is like zero. Kidnap. Victim. I'm so sorry, I'm just walking my fucking eyes. And then they wonder how these little white girls be getting snatched. They make it too easy. Like too easy. She walked into it. Bro, if I had a van and I just opened the door and I had freaking pumpkin spice latte right there on the ground, she'd walk right in there. I wouldn't have to snatch her. I'm not snatching little white I mean snow bunnies people. I'm just saying. And don't steal that tactic. Cause y'all gonna make a epidemic. Ain't gonna be no no more snow bunnies out here. You think they gonna resist a pumpkin spice? I don't think so. Nah, 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 son. They ain't resisting no pumpkin spice. That's spice. Raz. He got shot in the head. I answer my phone at what's happening. What you saying? Like you trying to get bugs in? Five minutes, much I know that you're rattling. Yeah, cush the body, don't ring my phone unless you want a party. I'm grafting. I'm the court king, cowboy. He don't seem that. He don't seem. He just seem a little bit slow. Not like mentally. Probably like mentally, but not in the way of like retardation, like slow to process things. His his motor skills probably a little bit dumbed down a little bit. But he don't seem. We gotta see him doing some math. Stop buying courses. You don't need to spend ten thousand dollars. Is this your girlfriend? Is this your girlfriend? Oh, uh, I just wondering if I can get your number. You have my friend's number. Really? Yep. Oh, I'll just put you guys my in a group chat. Actually. What's your roommate's name? Her name's Kate. Is she right over there? No, she's actually in the dorm. She has the blue right now. I'll just uh, put you guys in a group chat. Alright. That's actually perfect. What's your name? I'm Reagan. Reagan? I'm Johnny. Alright, I'll text you. We'll fucking smooch it up sometime. Alright, love you. Is this your girlfriend? Is this your girlfriend? Oh, uh, I just wondering if I can get your number. You have my friend's number. Already. Really? Yep. I'll just put you guys in a group chat. What's your roommate's name? Her name's Kate. 
Is she right over there? No, she's actually in the dorm. She has flu right now. I'll just uh, put you guys in a group. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I want to see the life go out of his eyes. Right. Where's that twinkle? Perfect. What's your name? I'm Reagan. Reagan. Shimmer and shine. All right, I'll text you. We'll fucking smooch it up sometime. Sure. All right, I love you. Is this your girlfriend? Is this your girlfriend? No, this is a friend, bro. Uh, I was just wondering if I can get your number. Sure, you have my friend's number already. Really? Yep. I'll just put you guys my in a group chat. Actually. What's your roommate's name? Her name's Kate. Is she right over there? No, she's actually in the dorm. She has flu right now. I'll just uh, <laughs> put you guys in a group chat. I'm making your breakfast. How about that? Look at all this. I'll give you a tip, guys. That's actually perfect. What's your I'll give you all a little right? tip, right? If you got a friend that's a girl and you try to get that, Make your move, right? It's either gonna be yes or no. And if she says no, um, my advice is to done it. And I'm not, I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying done it because of like, don't, it's not really out of feelings. It's just, it kind of is feelings because that's like a tease, you know what I mean? If you can't have it, just let it go, right? It sounds cruel, but it's the, Trust me, it's going to save you a lot of problems. Because then situations like this won't happen. You understand? Let it be known. I, I want this thing. If you say no, I'm going to respect it. But I just can't. We can't. This friend stuff ain't going to work anymore and shit. Because I have other things on my mind. And that'll save you from all these problems. You won't have to be like this guy. <laughs> With a twinkle in his eyes going out. <laughs> And you gotta keep it real and uh and sometimes they'll even come back to you because they respect you out of that like kept it real the friend zone stuff wasn't work but when you just keep your balls tucked and stuff like that dog they don't respect none of that you just a little friend you like a little brother i'm not your little brother i'm trying to joke that if i can't leave me alone i'm or i'm gonna leave you alone it's not like we enemies we still be cordial and cool and stuff but we can't just be hanging around and doing all this buddy buddy stuff anymore. No, I'm not your girlfriend. You know what I mean? Keep it like that. Unless it's a girl that you just not interested, then yeah, just could be friends. But if you're interested, bro, and she say no, drop it. Drop it. Is he Dominican? How long we been going for now? It's about dang, it's been it's almost 30 minutes. I'm gonna end it. <laughs> One more vid. <laughs> what the hell? Game Ender. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Part four. <laughs> All right, we all ended there, man. I'll see you on the next one. This was adventure number one. I'll see you on adventure number two.